Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Beriawan and today we're doing picture story and review time number 3. Let's go! Picture story. Before we continue with the video, Picture Story and Review Time is actually a new video series that I make where we'll share pictures, tell stories about them, and discuss them together, and hopefully we'll be able to learn from each other and be inspired from these pictures. The main goal with this new video series is that so you're able to showcase your best pictures and tell who you are and tell the stories about them, and also to be able to learn together from all these photos as well as be inspired from each other. If you want to make a submission, go to pictures story.refuse slash submit and then just fill in the form and upload your photo tell your story about it also let me know your instagram or youtube channel if you have one so i can promote it in this channel for you if you submit your picture and story to picture story.refuse slash submit you'll get a chance to be featured on one of my next videos and now let's continue with today's submission today's submission is by julius sunarko and it's a really good picture of mount bromo in jawa timur in indonesia Indonesia. So now let's talk about the gear being used to take this photo. So the camera and lens that are being used in this photo is Canon 80D DSLR camera as well as the Canon 10 to 18 mm f4.5 to f5.6 lens. So it's a DSLR Canon camera with a ultra wide angle lens. And the exposure setting that Julius used on this photo are as follows. He used aperture of f5.6 and shutter speed of 1 50th of a second and ISO 640. So now let me read the story that he wrote on this submission. So here's what he said. I came at this spot at early morning around 2 a.m. hopefully to avoid the crowd. Good idea by the way. I took the highest spot so I could see the full view of Bromo. The weather was very cold. It made me freezing and hard to control the camera. Yeah, I know what it feels like. And the camera became dewy and the battery got power decreased very fast. I didn't bring the backup battery and I started to capture when before the sunrise and the situation is still dark. So I decided to use HDR mode with handheld. Actually it was hard because I had to make the camera become stable when my hand became very cold and very hard to control. As time goes by, the crowd started to came in a huge number. The situation got hard, make me cannot move easily to explore other point of view. They push one another and I have to keep my position. It was not easy. So Julius, once again, thank you for your submission. And here's what I have to say about your picture. First, I really love the sky. The combination of the color is just so great in my opinion. The blue uh, mixed together with purple and a little bit of red in the sky indicates that it's really a blue golden hour kind of thing and you really wake up very early to take this picture so it's hard work being paid off you know and I also like the composition of the picture in general I like how you have the background mid ground and foreground kind of thing going on in your picture I love that you're able to capture a little bit of the greeneries on the foreground and I love how you uh, frame the uh, mountain and how you leave some space with the sky on the above i really think it's a solid picture and i really think that your uh, hard work and all your uh, struggles during the time that you take this picture is really paid off you know i really think that this is a solid picture there's not a lot of things that you can do to improve this picture except for maybe some little post processing like uh, trying to adjust the colors and contrast a little bit more i prefer to have a little bit more contrast than this and also in terms of framing I would like to uh, either see less of the sky or more of the sky you know if you're after that negative space kind of thing then add more sky but if you're more into that kind of tight uh, framing then I'd like to lose a little bit of the sky just to balance the mount uh, the mountain as well as the foreground to become more of the center of the interest for the picture however it's just really nitpicking I don't really think that uh, you can do too much to improve this photo already because this is a very solid and nice picture that being said thank you once again Julius for your submission congratulations this is a really solid kind of picture and this is a really high quality one and now let's move on with the next submission next submission is my own picture and it's a picture of a monk standing in between two people so a little bit about the gear that I used to take this picture I was using my Panasonic GX7 camera as well as Panasonic 14 to 140 millimeter f3 
3.5 to f5.6 lens at 14 mm so this image was taken using aperture priority with manual ISO so I set the aperture to f4.5 and ISO to 3200 and now let me tell you a little bit of story about this picture so this is one of my first pictures taken during the early days of switching to micro four thirds with my very first micro four thirds camera the Panasonic GX7 this picture is meant to be a street photography kind of style that is just spontaneous and in the moment kind of thing it was taken in Shanghai during a trip there and uh, I was in one of the tourist area and the moment is just perfect because my GX7 isn't really that big I can stretch my arm and kind of slip the camera in between some people to get closer to the monk praying in the middle it all happened really quickly but I was very lucky to be able to use a couple of people as my foreground and have the monk right in the center of the picture as the main point of interest this just goes to show that with smaller gear you are able to really get some interesting point of view without being obtrusive and gaining too much attention other thing that I would like to mention about this picture is that I was using electronic shutter on my Panasonic GX7 that way I don't make noise when I take the picture and I don't disturb people around me and I don't gain too much attention which is very important for street photography kind of style you know you don't want to be uh, conspicuous you want to be uh, undetected you want to be stealthy you don't want to attract too much attention and that way you'll be able to uh, just freeze the moment without disturbing it other thing about this picture that I would like to add is that I was using center point autofocus instead of just letting the camera choose the autofocus point for me because in my experience when I let the camera decide which autofocus point is best it will choose the foreground and in this case it will choose uh, between these two people you know the foreground and if I choose manually the center point autofocus it will uh, perfectly select the autofocus on the monk on the center of the image and that concludes my submission for today's picture story and review time so before we end the video I just want to add a few more things as something that I learned from today's submission especially from Julius picture so with Julius picture it's all about hard work he had to get up very early in the morning at 2 a.m. can you imagine that he also had to fight the cold weather and he also had to find the spot before the crowd moves in and make the situation more difficult for taking this picture he also had to struggle with the low light because he's not using large aperture lens it's f4.5 to f5.6 and it's not a really large aperture but I think the end result is very good and I'm really impressed with this picture so all that I can say for all of us is that hard work will definitely pay off when it comes to photography people will just care about the end result but they don't really know what goes behind the picture Picture, how hard you have to work before you can take this kind of picture you know this stunning gorgeous impressive kind of picture and that should make us appreciate photography even more with this kind of hard work and this kind of incredible result anyway that's all for today's video I hope that you are able to learn something from today's video please submit to picturestory.reviews slash submit and get a chance to be featured on my next video any kind of camera is welcome any kind of lens is welcome even smartphone camera is also fine any kind of photography genre is also fine just submit and you'll get a chance to be featured on my next video also don't forget to support my channel by liking this video sharing this video and subscribing to my channel down below thank you and goodbye